Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of weight and capacity. This is standard 3.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using number 17 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, an interesting problem here. We don't need to do any operations, no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. We just need to recognize some vocabulary here. So we have a container of liquid laundry detergent, and that's going to be important because sometimes your laundry detergent can be a liquid, sometimes it could be a powder. And we'll use different units of measurement for both of those. We have liquid laundry detergent at a store, and it's marked with the volume. All right, so we've got another key term here of detergent inside which unit of measurement could be marked on the container. So we need something that is going to measure liquid and volume. So that, those are two clues that we have right here. So we know what liquid is, that means water uh, or soda or anything that is fluid and, and can change the shape based on its container. Volume is a measure of liquid. Another word for volume that we'll use sometimes is what we have at the bottom of the screen, capacity. So when you are thinking of capacity or you're thinking of volume, uh, we're referring to the same thing. It's a unit of measurement. And so let's take a look at our units of measurement, see which of these could actually be used to measure this liquid volume. Let's start with eliminating the ones that we know that we're pretty sure are not going to be correct. And we can probably get rid of this one right here, this meters. I know we can get rid of that because meters measures distance. So we'll have a meter stick sometimes. Um, meters is used to measure my, how far you might run or how far you might walk. So distance or length, these are the units of measurement that we use here with meters. Another one that I think we might be able to get rid of would be this pounds. So pounds measures weight. So when I go to the doctor's office and he asks me to step on a scale, he measures my weight in pounds. And remember, weight is the effect of uh, gravity on you. Your weight changes uh, based on where you are, whether you're on Earth, which is where most of us always are. But if you were to go to space or to the moon or to Mars, your weight would change because the gravity is different out there. So that leaves us with liters and kilograms. And so let's think about liters. I wonder what liters would be. Well, if I'm going to the store, you know what? I have seen a soda. Sometimes soda comes in two liter bottles. And those are pretty big. And usually by the time you get to, in, get to the end of it, it's kind of flat. But if we have like a two liter bottle of soda, yeah, so that might work. So this, this might work because this is Coke, right? It's a poor drawing, but let's pretend like it's a good drawing there. It's a two liter bottle, bottle of Coke, which means we're dealing with something that's liquid. Anything that's liquid here might work. So a two liter, and you know what? You can get a one liter. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit skinny, but typically you can get a, a little one liter of water here. So water usually comes in like one liter bottles. So it seems like that one might work because we, we get two liters of soda, we get one liters of water, and liters happen to be liquid, so that's gonna be good. Let's just check this last one right here, this kilograms. So let's say I don't know what this kilo means, but I know what grams are. So grams, I've, I've seen these gram stackers. They're these little, they almost look like chips and you stack them up and you put them on a balance, right? And you put your gram stackers on the balance and you've got these little buckets right here and you're trying to make them balance, make them even. Grams actually measures mass, the amount of stuff inside of you. It's kind of like weight, but not the exact same. And we're not dealing with the amount of mass inside these uh, detergent containers were actually dealing with the volume or the liquid capacity and so that is actually going to be d liters